the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was a fatal incident in the United States space program that occurred on January 28, 1986, when the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart 73 seconds into its flight, killing all seven crew members aboard. The SRB casings were made of half-inch thick steel and were much stronger than the orbiter and, both SRBs survived the breakup of the Space Shuttle stack, even though the right SRB was still suffering the effects of the joint burn-through that had set the destruction of Challenger in motion. Rumors surfaced in the weeks after the disaster that the White House itself had pressed for Challenger to launch before the scheduled January 28 State of the Union address, because Reagan had intended to mention the launch in his remarks. Three weeks before the State of the Union address was to have been given, NASA did suggest that Reagan make call-outs to the assumed successful Challenger launch, and to mention Krista McAuliffe's shuttle voyage as the ultimate field trip of an American school teacher. Under 80 new. SC-641 It is against the law to be in possession of Challenger debris, and any newly discovered pieces must be turned over to NASA. On board Challenger was an American flag, dubbed the Challenger flag, that was sponsored by Boy Scout Troop 514 of Monument, Colorado. Unidentified crew remains were buried communally at the Space Shuttle Challenger Memorial in Arlington on May 20, 1986. The Presidential Commission on the Space Shuttle Challenger Accident, also known as the Rogers Commission after its chairman, was formed to investigate the disaster. The Challenger loss motivated the Air Force to set in motion a chain of events that finally led to the May 13, 1988, decision to cancel its Vandenberg shuttle launch plans in favor of the Titan IV uncrewed launch vehicle. NASA attempted to aim at a more realistic shuttle flight rate, it added another orbiter, Endeavour, to the Space Shuttle fleet to replace Challenger, and it worked with the Department of Defense to put more satellites in orbit using expendable launch vehicles rather than the shuttle. The cars believed that the causes of the institutional failure responsible for Challenger have not been fixed, seeing that the same flawed decision-making process that had resulted in the Challenger accident was responsible for Columbia's destruction 17 years later. While the presence of New Hampshire's Krista McAuliffe, a member of the Teacher in Space program, on the Challenger crew had provoked some media interest, there was little live broadcast coverage of the launch. According to Tuft, the launch temperature of Challenger was so far below the coldest launch, with the worst damage seen to date, that even a casual observer could have determined that the risk of disaster was severe. At 11.37 on September 29, 1988, Space Shuttle Discovery lifted off with a crew of five, all veteran astronauts, from Kennedy Space Center Pad 39B. Its crew included Richard Okavi, who had given the last status call out to Challenger before its breakup, Challenger, go at throttle up. The shuttle carried a tracking and data relay satellite, TDRSC, which replaced TDRSB, the satellite that was launched and lost on Challenger. The families of the Challenger crew organized the Challenger Center for Space Science Education as a permanent memorial to the crew. Hard Rock Band Keel dedicated their 1986 album The Final Frontier to the astronauts of the Space Shuttle Challenger 28 of January 1986. In 1988, seven craters on the far side of the moon, within the Apollo Basin, were named after the fallen astronauts by the OWL. In Huntsville, Alabama, home of Marshall Space Flight Center, Challenger Elementary School, Challenger Middle School, and the Ronald E. McNair Jr. High School are all named in memory of the crew. The city of Palmdale, the birthplace of the entire shuttle fleet, and its neighbor city of Lancaster, California, both renamed 10th Street East, from Avenue M to Edwards Air Force Base, to Challenger Way in honor of the lost shuttle and its crew. The city of Lancaster has built Challenger Middle School, and Challenger Memorial Hall at the former site of the Antelope Valley Fairgrounds, all in tribute to the Challenger shuttle and crew. The Public Piers Park in Palo Alto, California features a Challenger Memorial Grove that includes redwood trees grown from seeds carried aboard Challenger in 1985. In Port St. John, Florida within Brevard County the same county that the Kennedy Space Center resides in is the Challenger 7 Elementary School which is named in memory of the seven crew members of STS-51 Leader. 
there is a middle school in neighboring Rockledge, McNair Magnet School, named after astronaut Ronald McNair. In Oxnard, California, McAuliffe Elementary School is named after Krista McAuliffe, and bears tribute to the crew of the Challenger flight in its logo, with an image of the shuttle and the motto We Meet the Challenge. The crew and mission are also tributed by the school's mascot, the Challengers, and their saying We Reach for the Stars. Size replica of Space Shuttle Challenger in lift-off position, was created by residents and merchants of Little Tokyo District of Los Angeles, California. The mountain range Challenger calls on Pluto was named in honor of the victims of the Challenger disaster. The Challenger Columbia Stadium in League City, Texas is named in honor of the victims of both the Challenger disaster as well as the Columbia disaster in 2003.